Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be uh, graphing this piecewise function. So before I do that, I'm just going to label my grid. So let's do that. Let's label the grid 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, and negative 10. Then we have 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the first category. The first category says f of x is equal to 5. So if this line was just not a piecewise function at all, if this was just the whole graph, we would graph it like this. We'd say, ah, oh, right here, this is the line. All right, this line right here is x is equal to, is, oh, sorry, y is equal to 5, or f of x is equal to 5. Now, that said, the graph is only supposed to be this function when x is less than negative 3. Okay, so I'm going to highlight where in this graph is x less than negative 3. Well, all this space here and beyond, of course, all of this shaded in space here, x is less than negative 3, right? And so we only want to keep our line up until this point. So let's do that. I'm going to erase the full line, and let's just draw this line from here to there. And then I'm going to end it with an open circle right on the negative 3 mark. And why am I going to do that? Because it's when x is strictly less than negative 3, not less than or equal to. And so that means at negative 3 itself, there should be a hole, but everything even a little bit to the left of negative 3, everything that's lower than it, needs to have this equation of 5. Right? So notice how this lines up perfectly with 5. This lines up perfectly with negative 3. Those are important key aspects to note here to know where exactly we should start and stop our graph. Okay, uh, next one is 3x plus 4, and that is for this area over here. Everything starting at negative 3 going up to 5. So all of this area here, we're going to be drawing this graph. Okay, so how do we draw 3x plus 4 again? Well, if we're not sure, um, I'll go through it briefly, but I do also have some videos on uh, graphing linear functions as well. But long story short, how are we going to graph 3x plus 4 in general? We're going to start at 4 right here. And then we're going to go over 1 and up 3 because 3 is our slope. So we're going to have a point there and then a point there. A point there and a point there like that and so this is going to go a little bit off grid but that is okay I'm not too concerned about that that's going to keep going okay and notice here this one is a filled in circle because at negative three, this is included. And this would technically go all the way up, up until five. Uh, all right, the next one is between five and 10, it's two X. So how would we draw two X? Well, in general, we would draw two X like this, right? We would have a slope of two, like that. But this is only gonna be between five and 10, right? So it's gonna start right here, and then it's gonna go, continue to do this, all the way up until it gets to 10. And over here, it's going to be a, um, a circle, and then over here, it's going to be a closed circle for every other point, including the end point there. Okay, so let's draw that. And so on. 
And then last but not least, we have seven. If uh, x is greater than 10, f of x is seven. So I'm gonna start at 10, seven, which is right here. And here I'm going to do an open circle, right? Because 10 is not included. It's strictly greater than 10, not greater than or equal. And then we're going to draw a line to the right. Because for every point that is greater than 10, our value should be at 7. And so that's how we can graph this on the grid. Key things to remember are to look for where the boundaries are so we can draw each function just at that boundary.